Hi, today I am going to explain a project of Spring Cloud and I am going to explain the load balancing through Ribbon. Ribbon is the open source library which is provided by Nick Netflix. So I am going to first create an app with three instances running and I am going to call the Ribbon in my second application which I will be making for the load balancing and in this Ribbon service I am going to create a load balancer and through this load balancer I am going to call the three instances which is running for the app which I have created and third thing I will do is to redirect the three instances through this ribbon service so let's start by creating all these through ribbon which is provided in Eureka Netflix and for that I will go to my Eclipse and here I will create a spring starter project go to new create a spring starter project here I am going to provide the name of the app let the name be my app let the group is com.sumit and the package be com.sumit.playjava sumit.playjava and this is DM for spring cloud so I am going to provide the ribbon and next first I am going to create an app for that I am just going to provide the web because I am just exposing the rest endpoint so I am just providing the web dependency so our project is now created in this I am going to provide a rest API for that I am just providing at the rate rest controller and here I am providing a get method for that I am annotating it with at the rate get mapping inside this let me provide the URL to be app only let it be app and here I am providing the method for this mapping which will return a string and let the method name be get app here I will return a string with the port number of the service which is running so let the port number is and I will pick the port from the application dot properties for that I will use the annotation at that value in the value I will just pass the default spring port that is spring dot server dot port and this will be a private string which is picking the data from application dot properties file so we will be picking the port number from application dot properties file with the key as server dot port and passing in the rest mapping so here server dot port will be the port on which we will run the application we will create three instances on different ports first let me clear these and then I will run the three instances so we have created a string which will be returning the port number and now our first application is ready so let's create the second application which will do the load balancing through ribbon so let the name be ribbon balancer and everything is same click on next here I will provide three dependencies one will be the web and second will be the dev tools to load things at runtime so this and third will be the main thing that is the ribbon which will do the load balancing for the server which we want to do the load balancing so our second project is configured so in this project I am going to provide the dependencies of load balancing so this is the file default file let me minimize this and I am going to the main file here I will provide the dependency of rest controller and I will also provide the ribbon dependency for that I will use ribbon client here I will pass the name of the application for which we are going to provide the load balancing so our first application was app my app so I will provide the name as my app that this is the application whose load balancing requires to be done and a configuration file needs to be maintained for the load balancing through ribbon so let the name be ribbon config.class I will configure this class first 
let me provide the rest controller that is the rest template so i will use at the rate bean for the rest template and at the rate load balancer that this rest template will use the load balancer and i will return the rest template through this and this is a bean which will return the instances of rest template that will return new rest template and this will also follow the load balancing so i have annotated with at that load balancer so this is done and now let me provide the this bean through auto wire so first let's create a method get mapping and here i'll provide the mapping url let the mapping url be ribbon load balance balancing that's fine and now let's provide the method that is public which will return a string and here i am going to pick the data so i am going to get data and i am using the going to use the rest template so rest template will be provided with auto wire because we have created the bean for rest template and now through auto wire we will get that bean that is private rest template and the name of the rest template that is rest template only and here i am going to return a data which will be provided through the other application and the other application will provide the data through rest template so rest template get for object and here the url needs to be provided if it would have been a single instance then we would have provided local host but there are three instances or multiple instances running so we will call this through the application name that is this is the my app and this is the my application and this is the main url which i am going to call so my app instead of localhost hyphen slash that is the name of the url that is the app and this is a string dot class and till now it's fine and now let's create a configuration class for this that is ribbon config so here i am going to create a class and click on finish and this will be a type of configuration configuration and here i am going to provide client config so i am going to provide private i client config which is provided through spring cloud ribbon and bean needs to be provided for i ping and i rule so public i ping and name let it be anything like get ping and here it will return new ping url that is it will ping to this url and let me provide the i rule i rule is just a kind of method it won't require any at the rate ping kind of thing so i rule get rule i am naming this method you can name it anything return new weighted response time rule that this one yeah so we have our client config which have i ping and i rule which will call the url through for this load balancing so we have configured our ribbon configuration also we have configured we have called the app through the name of the app now we need to provide the port on which the three instances will be running for that i create this application.yml i change the application dot properties to yml here i'll provide the name of the application that is the first application is my app so my app i provided and i am going to say that ribbon which will be a part of eureka it is not using the eureka server so i am going to disable it and through enable is equal to false it will disable the eureka i am just using the ribbon and the list of server i need to provide where the first application is running so first application is running on suppose let me i will run on three servers like 8080 and second i will run on 8081 and 8082 let it be 
so I'll write localhost 8080, 8081 and localhost 8082 you can run more instances if you want I'm just showing three here so so server list and refresh that after how many milliseconds it will refresh the list of servers it will check after this interval how many servers are there the at regular interval so I provided 15,000 milliseconds and let the server port of this ribbon a ribbon application be let it provide 8888 there is a default for spring cloud so we have done our ribbon configuration we have provided the dependency in mail file so I have created this application also and this was the initial application I am going to run this three instance that is the first step and as you can see here the port will be it will printing the port by getting data from application.properties file that is from here it will pick the server.port and print the port number in the gate mapping so I will run the instance first instance I am going to run at 8080 since I have not provided the dev tools so data will not be loaded at the runtime so I can change the port number here only and again run this application only run at 8081 so second instance will be created see second instance is creating now and again I will change this port number only and I will run as see 8081 is here 8082 and right click on it run as Spring Boot application so our three instances we have created so this is the third one and it will start running on 8082 so we have created three instances as you can see see these three instances are currently running now let's see what we have done we have created the three instances now we will run the ribbon server which will redirect us through load balancing to these three servers so in this as you can see the three instances which we have created we have provided in this that is this is the application which has these three local host and as you can see in the main file we have provided and called the first application not through load local host but with the name of the application through load balancing through rest template we are calling it to this method and in this method we are passing the name of the application not the local host so this name has been configured in this yml file and it will one by one it will check these three instances in a round ribbon fashion and we have provided the dependencies one more thing I need to provide here only for iClient config because iClient config will not may not be called so I am going to scan the base package of iClient config at the starting of the Spring Boot application only so let me provide the path of it so it, it has a default path of com.netflix dot client dot config dot iClient config so it will scan this base package and will pick the iClient config and it will do the load balancing and call the first application one by one so this is the iClient config and we have configured our ribbon application also so internally it will call this so I am turning this application run as Spring Boot application this is the, this is the application which will do the load balancing for us so it has started on 8888 so I am going to call localhost 8888 and the method name which is internally calling the first application so this is the application which is running we are calling this application at this method and it will call this application internally and it has three instances running which will be called one by one so this is the configuration file we have provided three instances here which will be called one by one and as you can see in the in this application I provided 
a method which will print the port number so I'm going to call this URL so I provided it and I'm going to click on send as you can see first time it has printed 81 second 81 first 80 and 81 now 882 so one by one it is calling all the three instances as you can see every time you will hit you will hit you will see the instances in round robin fashion so this application called internally the first application and first application has three instances running and through ribbon that is provided by netflix eureka we have we are able to achieve the load balancing through this spring cloud configuration so this was about the spring cloud through netflix and ribbon and see we have created three instances we have provided the load balancing through ribbon and it did adds and creates the three instances and calls one by one so thank you for watching the video